Hi, it's Katrina. My friend David is actually going to be helping me out today so we can give you a little bit more variety. Everyone say hi. Number 10, ghost dogs. There are ghost dogs living in the Amazon jungle. Wait, what? They're not actually the ghostly spirits of dead dogs, but an entirely unique species of dog. The dogs have short ears, they almost don't even look like canines, and they are the only member of their genus called Atelosinus. They're also the only species of dog 100% unique to the Amazon jungle. But as their name suggests, these pups are difficult to come across. A team of over 50 researchers have been trying desperately to work up a full profile of the Amazon ghost dog. Most of their information comes from camera traps that they've set up deep in the woods, capturing only glimpses of the dogs before they run away. Researchers are still trying to map the range of the species to determine what the preferred habitat is and how best to protect them from extinction. Most of the researchers who study Amazon ghost dogs have never actually seen one in real life. Putting together everything researchers have found so far about these unique animals, they believe ghost dogs have a huge range. They live across five different countries, they're perfectly adapted to living in the South American jungle, and they are in danger. According to Smithsonian Magazine, about a third of them could lose their habitat by 2027. In other words, these mysterious and ghostly dogs might be gone before scientists even know their full story. Number 9. The Zombie Frog It's time to meet the Zombie Frog, a newly discovered species of creepy amphibian that lives in the Amazon. But contrary to what its name might make you think, it's not actually undead. These frogs don't rise from the grave to feast on the brains of other frogs. Herpetologist and expert on all things amphibian and reptile, Raphael Ernst, says the frog got its name from when he and the other researchers first dug them out of the ground. They looked like decaying zombies. The frogs are only about 1.5 inches, 3.8 centimeters. They're orange and spotted as if suffering from grave rot. So far, they've only been found in Guyana, and only because of Raphael and his team's commitment to discovering them. These creatures live underground and only come out when it's raining. The only way to get to them if there isn't a downpour is by actually digging them out of the mud. It took Raphael two years of working in the Amazon to uncover the zombie frogs, and unfortunately, they're already almost extinct. Number 8. A Canvas of Beasts In the Colombian Amazon, one of the largest canvases in the world has been discovered. Researchers found a single canvas 8 miles 12.8 kilometers long on the side of a cliff deep in the jungle. The canvas is covered in thousands of figures, mostly of beasts from the Ice Age. These beasts include things like mastodons, giant sloths, huge porcupines, horses, three-toed mammals, scientists can't identify, and so much more. What's truly amazing is that these images were drawn on the side of the cliff by inhabitants of the jungle somewhere around 12,600 years ago. This was just at the end of the Ice Age, meaning the people here had actually interacted with all of these extinct beasts. At the time, the Amazon was still transforming into a tropical forest. Temperatures were rising, the jungle was getting denser, and what was once a savanna of thorny scrub was turning into the forest we know today. A discovery like this is truly unprecedented. It's true that there are plenty of examples of rock art throughout Brazil depicting animals from the Ice Age, but this thing is 8 miles, 12.8 kilometers long. Just think about how massive that is. It's absolutely gigantic, an entire mural showing what life was like for people thousands of years before Europeans ever made it to South America. Back then, humans living in caves would hunt sloths and other beasts the same size as a small car. Number 7. Dwellers of the Amazon Scientists in Peru, working to discover the truth behind the ancient inhabitant of the Amazon rainforest, have discovered something bizarre and rather surprising. It seems that indigenous people lived sustainably for the past 5,000 years without causing any detectable species loss. We already know that people have been living in the jungle for over 12,000 years, but there was a long period of change following the Ice Age. A lot of animals died out, whether humans had anything to do with it or not. The world was changing, 
But for 5,000 years, once the big animals from the Ice Age were already gone, humans appeared to have lived in perfect peace and harmony with nature. The discovery came from searching through layers of soil for microscopic fossil evidence. Researchers wanted to see what kind of impact humans had on the jungle. What they found was that people hadn't cleaned or farmed, or really altered in any way, the landscape throughout prehistory. But there's a catch. A different study has proved that some tree species which dominate the forest today were planted by prehistoric humans. When looking at both studies, the logical consensus is that indigenous people may have planted some trees and made some settlements, but never actually cleared plots of land or inflicted any meaningful damage on the environment. In other words, they lived sustainably in the forest. This is the total opposite of what was happening in Europe and other places like Mexico. In the rest of the world, the locals were clearing farmland, practicing mass agriculture, wiping out whole species and just generally ruining nature. It seems the indigenous Amazonians lived a fully sustainable existence in the forest right up until a few hundred years ago when the Spanish and Portuguese arrived. Number 6 giant talking catfish. On a fishing trip to the Amazon, a man caught one of the most bizarre fish in the world. It's called the giant talking catfish, or the giant Raphael catfish. It's a species of thorny catfish native to the Amazon, found in countries like Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. But what's truly remarkable about this guy's catch is that it was massive. The fish he caught measured roughly 2 feet, 0.6 meters long, and weighed around 10 pounds, 4.5 kilograms. That's right at the maximum for how big these fish can grow. It was a truly impressive specimen of bright orange and jet black. The giant talking catfish has a strict diet of fruit and snails. It's also a favorite of fishermen who travel to the Amazon from all over the world. This thing is a great example of the amazing diversity that can be found throughout the waterways of the biggest forest on Earth. What's the biggest fish you've ever seen in your life? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We have lots more videos coming up. Number 5. Man of the Hole The Man of the Hole is the last surviving member of an uncontacted tribe in the Amazon. He earned his name by digging trapping pits for animals and remaining in hiding. But unfortunately, he was recently attacked in the Amazon state of Rondonia. The UK advocacy group Survival International believes it was ranchers in opposition to government efforts to protect man of the whole's land that carried out the attack. Officers in Brazil discovered a protection post in the forest completely ransacked and covered in empty shotgun cartridges. The man is clearly being hunted, although it's believed he is still alive and managed to escape the angry ranchers. His story goes back to the 1970s when ranchers massacred his entire tribe and only he got away. Nobody knows his age, his name, or anything about him. We only know that he digs deep holes, lines them with spikes, and uses them for catching animals. He's now on the run somewhere in the jungle with cattle ranchers and soy farmers hot on his heels. Number 4. The White City Deep in the rainforest of Honduras, locals speak of an ancient metropolis called La Cludad Blanca, or the White City. Legend says that when Spanish colonizers traveled into Honduras, they witnessed an ancient abandoned city made of pillars of white stone. The city was apparently dedicated to a mysterious and bizarre monkey god which was worshipped by the pre-Columbian civilization that lived there. For over a century, explorers and academics have been searching for the White City. It wasn't until 2015 that a team of scientists actually discovered the ruins of what may just be that very fabled city deep in the Honduran jungle. It may not be the Amazon, but it's still one of the most bizarre and spectacular jungle discoveries ever made. They found the ruins in the La Mosquitia region. Using satellites and laser scans, they uncovered structures and artifacts that had been hidden by jungle plants for the past 1,000 years. The structures would never have been found by an explorer because they are literally hidden underneath overgrown foliage, even buried underground. Once they identified the location of the city, scientists had to physically make the journey there. A team of scientists, accompanied by Honduran special forces, filmmakers, and jungle warfare survival specialists, had to trek through quicksand, they had to battle venomous snakes, 
and they had to deal with flesh-eating bacteria just to get to this part of the jungle. There they found objects dating back to the year 1000 AD, stone figures buried in the ground, statues of jaguars, and heaps of other treasures. In the end, it's impossible to say whether this truly is the legendary White City, but it's definitely a lost city once populated by an unknown society. Who could have lived here is a total mystery. If they truly did build the city in dedication to a monkey god, well, that's also a mystery. Number 3. Tiny Monkey In Peru, the smallest fossilized monkey ever was just discovered in the Amazon jungle. The creature dates back 18 million years and was roughly the size of a hamster. According to a team of scientists from Peru and the US, this newly discovered monkey could fill a gap in what we know about monkey evolution. And when we are talking about monkey evolution, we are talking about our own evolution as well. The discovery comes in the form of a fossilized tooth. It was uncovered by researchers with Duke University and the National University of Pura. The scientists actually dug the tooth out of an exposed riverbank after searching through roughly 2,000 pounds 907 kilograms of sediment. Sure, they discovered hundreds of other fossils from things like rodents and bats, but the single monkey tooth proved to be the big reward for all their hard work. A single upper molar about the size of the head of a pin. The tooth is so small that researcher Richard Kay says it could fall through a window screen. But even with just one tooth, researchers can find out a lot. They can tell just by the size and shape of the tooth that the monkey ate a diet primarily of fruits and insects. They also know it only weighed about half a pound. That's not much heavier than a baseball. Most monkeys today are about 50 times as big as this prehistoric creature. To better understand why this is so important of a discovery, keep in mind that monkeys likely arrived in South America from Africa 40 million years ago. They then diversified into over 150 species. Most of them inhabit the Amazon rainforest. But scientists don't really know how exactly it all happened. There's a huge gap in the fossil record from between 13 and 31 million years ago. This new monkey fits right in the middle of that gap. With a bit more research, scientists will finally figure out more about the origins of South American monkeys. Number 2. Screech Owl A new species of screech owl has been found in the Amazon jungle. It's been named in honor of sister Dorothy Stang. Stang was an activist murdered for the work she was trying to do in the rainforest. She was a serious environmentalist fighting for the Amazon, the Amazonian animals, and the local tribespeople. But sadly, she was assassinated in 2005 in Brazil for all her meddling. In honor of Dorothy Stang, this bizarre new owl was named the Megascops Stangai. But its other name, given by the researchers from Brazil, Finland, and the US who found it, is the Zingu Screech Owl. The owl was discovered in the same part of the forest where Dorothy once worked. It's a new species that's already under threat by deforestation. It's located in what scientists call the Arc of Deforestation. This is the frontier between the wild Amazon and the part that's being rapidly destroyed. The owl itself isn't much different from other screech owls. It has basically no neck, it's only about 6 inches, 15 centimeters tall, and it's ridiculously adorable. Some are brown, some are gray, and some are a mix of both. Number 1. Too much CO2 2021 was a pretty bad year, all things considered. But there was one discovery in the Amazon rainforest that many people may have overlooked, and it truly adds to the misery that was 2021. In plain English, scientists discovered that the Amazon rainforest is now emitting more carbon dioxide than it can absorb. What this means is that billions of tons of carbon dioxide every year are being emitted by the Amazon jungle, a far greater number than what the jungle can absorb. To be as simple as possible, the Amazon is now polluting the world. Previously, the Amazon rainforest was a carbon sink, meaning it was sucking up all the emissions responsible for driving what most scientists agree is a climate crisis. In 2021, all that changed. Due to fires, massive patches of land cleared for beef and soy products, along with way hotter temperatures than before, the jungle stopped being a carbon sink. It now pushes out its own emissions 
causing the acceleration of the climate crisis rather than making it better. This is a pretty bizarre discovery for many reasons. The most shocking thing is that the biggest tropical forest on the planet is now working to fuel climate change which could potentially in just a few years wipe us all out. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite creepy animal from the Amazon jungle? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.